ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Simon. This is the second time that we've presented the Gardening Against the Odds Awards. Well, Gardening Against the Odds Awards, it's gardening, but it's not easy gardening. It's gardening because of disability. It's gardening because it's an unlikely place. It's a place that's been neglected, but someone cares. And it's amazing. These awards really just show what I think is probably the tip of the iceberg. This was wanted to honor gardeners against the odds. Dedicated to the hundreds of tiny patches and plants that have been around. It's something that awakens the spirit in everybody, I think. And it's year after year, there's a, there's a reassurance that spring will always come, that, that summer will bring flowers, that autumn will bring a harvest. And I think that people are now, in these very uncertain times, are coming back to gardening in a way that they never were before. And, and this is what we support here with Gardening Against the Odds. We all, from time to time, feel we garden against the odds. Most days, if it's sunny, you can do with rain. It's raining, will it ever dry up? It's about mender gardening. It mends people's lives. It mends them. It mends us. I mean, the reason we do it is because we love it. Um, it has a great end result. It beautifies the countryside. It's good for wildlife. It, there is, there's nothing bad about gardening except getting cold and wet in the middle of winter. It's very, very varied, very inspirational. It's people doing um, things you wouldn't really think of. You know, strange bits of land, terrible. Um, problems, severe depressions or whatever, and it just completely turns their life around, really. Tanya Nell Awako, who is a com uh, whose community garden transformed an unloved area into a garden for all age groups, if, for the neighbourhood to share and enjoy. We started to garden because it was just a plain bit of grass that all what went on it was dogs. It brought the community together, everyone came out and got involved, even to kids, to adults, different nationalities, all came together and now two years down the line we all meet up on that grass area and have chats and just discussions, everything else. Tommy Thompson, who works at Annick, Tommy, who suffers from cerebral palsy. Tommy started out working in the garden's ticket office, but he was soon transplanted. To gardening brought a new lease of life to us, really, you know. It wasn't soon after I started gardening, I met my wife now, and we started a family. It was just from working in a food factory for 15 years, and doors never seen daylight, to being outside and watching things grow was amazing. Very limited use of my left arm. It, some jobs you don't know if you can do it before you've tried that job. Um, my ankle's terrible. When it gets cold, I can hardly walk. But I've always been supplied with machines to do the job and help us. Our final merit award is a small sensory garden, a sensory garden, created by the Medical Foundation for Victims of Torture. We work with victims of torture who have been very, very brutally treated and who need to recover. And our project is all about using nature as a way of helping people to find themselves again. Find peace and find hope and take some pride in the garden that they create. Everybody, wherever they're from and whatever they've been through, has had a relationship with nature. So by putting people into a garden and working in a garden, we are reconnecting with a moment pre-trauma. So it's immediately helpful if people can get behind their trauma to a place that was happy for them and full of good memories. So now on to our final award which goes to the South End Huntingdon's Disease Association. Francine Raymond uh, went to visit the group's allotment and reported that despite their disabilities, members are some of the most inspirational and jolliest people she had ever met. It's just been amazing. We can get 25 people over there on a Wednesday morning, Wednesday daytime. And um, they've just done so much there and so much good for people. People who haven't done things probably couldn't, but they can. But when people have been there, and if they can't actually grow it, they've sat and watched them grow. And they take them home at the end when they're grown, they take the produce home. 
they can make a good meal out of it and be proud to eat it. These awards will be for publicity so that we can actually spread the message of what they're doing and we want to raise some more funds and we think we can do that. I mean, in fact, we've got some already, which is really exciting news. And we're going to put that money into helping people who say, well, we've got an idea, but we really could do with a bit of help. We need some plans designed. So we could say, well, here's a small grant. This will help you get your plans designed and we can help people in many ways.